Sister Circle is sisterhood personified. It allows us to be who we really are. It's a place of positivity. When you come to the Sister Circle, you become a part of our family. It really truly is the avenue for all women to come together and to relate. It gives us a platform to have open dialogue on topics that sometimes are looked over. This is one hour that we get to help people see things from a different perspective. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's the day after Halloween and the kids and some of us are probably still in a candy coma. But if you're looking to feed your family something healthy, we have got the recipe just for you. Our favorite chef, who just happens to be a vegan chef. Uh -huh, <laughs> one of our favorites. Chef Aki is here to make a tasty dish using leftover pumpkins. Welcome yes. back to the show, Thanks Chef Aki. Mm, I just love it. Your energy <laughs> just, your energy said hello before you did. Oh, thank I you. Love it. I just, love coming here. You absolutely. know, this is my spot. I know, this is my spot. So, okay, what can we do? do with leftover pumpkins. What are we going right. to be doing today? So, you know, I party really hard for Halloween and we had a lot of pumpkins left over mm -hmm. and I pretty much do that every year. So I like to roast my pumpkins. So, roast them. Yes, and it makes it, it brings out the sweetness uh -huh. and all the pumpkin flavor you can really taste. So today we're doing a roasted pumpkin quesadilla. What? With an ancho chili cream cheese sauce. Wow. So this is going to be pretty epic. And y'all can get that recipe right at Sister Circle. Yes. Uh, yes, Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. We got it nice. just for you. And we're going to have it up on the screen. It's already started. I love perfect, it. Perfect. Awesome. So we already put the onions and the mushrooms in so yes. far. Okay. Yes. So Rashawn's going to help me hook this up. I'm going to throw some spices in here. But okay. we've got onion. We've got mushroom. Mm -hmm. And we're going to throw in some spinach because we got to get a little greenery going on. Yes. Right? yes. And then I'm going to trade you places. Okay. I'll do and that. And I'm going to get some spices going because y'all already no, I've got to have my spices yes. to really bring this through. So we're going to do some onion powder, uh -huh. ancho chili powder. Ancho chili powder. To really kick up the spice here. And then also we're going to add just a little bit of pink salt and tamari sauce. Love that, love that. And what's the consistency of the pumpkin? So the pumpkin is going to almost be like if you were to have a roasted butternut squash or got even it. a roasted potato. Uh -huh. Just maybe a little bit softer than a roasted potato. But it also has that natural sweetness and that oh, really man. beautiful pumpkin flavor coming through. Through. Right. So it's delicious. And it's been pre roasted. Of course. If you can see that here, of course, because we're not roasting here today. You're right. But it's pre roasted. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of time, of course, you can make this with butternut squash. Mm -hmm. You can make it with a puree or anything like that. But we really wanted the texture to come through in this quesadilla. So we roasted, and we're going to actually add this to our spinach. Ooh. Oh, you're going to add it in? Let yeah, me, we're going to go ahead and all add it? that on in. Yes, all of it. Go ahead and put Yum, all of that in. And we're going to just let that cook down for about another six minutes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep spicing that up and then we're going to layer and build our quesadilla from there mm -hmm. with some spelt tortilla wraps. Oh, spelt tortilla wraps. Now, yes. what's the difference, you know, for those people who are trying the the new vegan life, what's what's the difference between that type of wrap and a kind that's not, yeah. I guess. Well, flour, right? A <laughs> yeah. flour or corn tortilla. Um, really, really important. I don't do a lot of flour ever. Right. And I just can't handle all the calories. Mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't digest well for me. Okay. So I try my best to, to get rid of it whenever I can. So I'll do spelt tortillas in place of a flour okay. tortilla. Okay, yeah. It's going to digest much better for you. Mm -hmm. Not going to be so heavy. Good, good. But great texture still. Yes. It has a little gluten, so it's not gluten free. It's not. But, <laughs> but, but it's, it's great texture. Texture. Right, it's good. It's yes, always much good. better. Awesome, awesome. And you are the queen of making sure the flavor is on point. Oh, I gotta have my flavor. Yeah, gotta have my why flavor. Why is it so important? I think a lot of people when they try to do the vegan life, they're like, but I don't know if it's gonna taste right. right. But you are the queen of making sure it tastes real Thank good. Thank you, ma'am. What's the Thank key to you. that? You know, I would say that the key to it. First of all, I'm a Southern girl. I Come grew up on, in Southern. Oklahoma City in yeah. Dallas, Texas. Yes. So <laughs> I'm very clear that when I transitioned into a vegan diet, mm -hmm. that I know I needed to still have that flavor. Yes. And that I couldn't commit anybody to eat my food unless I incorporated what I learned as a southern yes. cook back into the vegan food. So mm -hmm. you got to infuse it with that flavor. Very important. And you know it, you can you can actually cheat and add things like cheese yes. made of cashews Come on. in order to bring that whole thing together. Because people think we don't eat cheese, yes, but we but do. Yes, we eat cashew cheese. Yes, we uh, eat cashew cheese. Yes, and today is the beginning of uh, vegan month. I think it's World Vegan Month. It or, is. Yes, so I'm, I, you know, I may challenge myself to try to do something <laughs> for a whole month. I think so. I think I want to see. Do it. So what are you adding? You got the cashew you just added. I've what? got a little grapeseed oil and some uh, nutritional yeast with cashews that have been soaked overnight. Okay. All awesome. right. You can do it for like six to maybe ten hours. Okay. I'm gonna throw a little of that ancho chili powder left over into this mix okay. here. And you just soak them in water. Throw cashew. A little bit 
Throw, soak them in water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Soak it. them in water, drain them. I'm gonna throw a little water in here. Mm -hmm. And you can give this a quick blend. I'm gonna add a little lemon juice to that as nice. well. Almost forgot that. A little sea salt, and mm -hmm. that's all you need, you guys. Very easy to make cheese at home. Yes, and it smells amazing. And Thank the, you. And then that gives you, and I guess you talk a little bit about the um, the uh, pumpkin. It gives you a meaty texture as well. Exactly. Good. With the mushroom, with mm -hmm. the pumpkin, you really do get that meaty Yummy. texture. So I'm gonna give this a quick little blend. Okay. Just so you can kind of see how that works. You just want to get a little more water in that and work it until it's creamy. creamy. And it's going to look like this. I don't mm. know if you guys get a close up of this queso. I so, love it. But it's amazing. I so I'm going to let you guys taste it. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, let's go. So are, got are we some already made for you? Oh, you, you got some already made. I got some already made. <laughs> come on over. Come yes. on over. I know y'all yes. want me to come to y'all taste this. Yes. Come on over. Because oh, I know this you have is stuff. our ancho chili quesadilla. Okay. Okay. And it's got the cheese already on it. Oh, okay. But it's a little you extra on top. So yes. please okay. share so that. Yes. And then I'll be building a little bit more. Plate. Yes. Thank Thank you. We're going to build some more. Yeah, yes. we're going to build some more. Please taste that. Mm -hmm. This is so. So I, I, hopefully you guys oh. will do this at home. Mm. Don't waste those pumpkins. Oh my Taste god! Like meat in there. Oh exactly. my god! So good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mg. Mm -hmm. Nice waste flavor. Those it's mm. really, really good. Thank you. Mm. Glad you like it. And you can do this with a sweet potato. Can you do this with a sweet potato as well? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. My goodness, mm. this is good. And I know we're gonna build some more. We're gonna build some more. Yes. Yes. So yes. flavorful. Very savory. <laughs> so, Chef Aki, you know we always love you. Always bring the best. Oh, I love yes. y'all having me. Oh my yeah, goodness. Uh, for this, uh, more and great ideas. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get my. Um, it's Yamadocious. Yamadocious. That's it. If you want more vegan recipes, you can follow her on Instagram at Chef Aki. She's amazing. Mm. Okay.